So um, the first thing that's worth pointing out is that autoimmunity is generally common in women. And, and that explains to a degree why these, these conditions cluster in women. There's a quite a significant female preponderance for some conditions. Raynaud's is at least twice as common in women as men. Scleroderma three times as common. But lupus and Sjogren's are both nine times commoner in women than men and thyroid disease 10 times commoner. So it's not surprising that these are female predominant diseases and many of you will have more than one. And in fact, 25% of patients with an autoimmune disease will have more than one. Some of you will have two, three, or even more. Um, and it's likely the background is that you have a genetic vulnerability to autoimmunity, and then you come across some, some trigger, probably an environmental trigger, who knows, that sets it off. And that's probably, the trigger probably has to happen at the right point in your hormonal cycle and so forth. And we, we often refer to this as a multi-hit hypothesis. So it takes more than one thing to trigger your immune system and more, one, more than one thing to, to cause a problem. Um, and interestingly, some of you may have observed recent little flares or triggers set off by the COVID vaccine or by COVID itself. And that doesn't surprise doctors like myself because we know that the COVID vaccine and COVID both stimulate your immune system. And if you stimulate the immune system in somebody with an autoimmune disease or autoimmune vulnerability, then they're more likely to get a flare, usually fortuitously very short lived. But there are some common diseases that cluster together, and there are at least three groups of common diseases that, that link together. And scleroderma probably falls into that middle group um, outlined on the slide there, uh, and is quite commonly linked with things like Sjogren's, rheumatoid, primary biliary cirrhosis, which is an autoimmune liver disease, um, and autoimmune thyroid disease. But in fairness, I have seen patients over the years who, who dip into other boxes and have other overlaps as well. So no overlap is ruled out, but some are commoner than others.